Let's get back to work because I'm a good person. <laughs> um, when the devil is denying us the Lord's Prayer, the, the Lord never stops working. I, I work in my sleep, guys. Okay? It's exhausting. It's, I feel like freaking uh, Edward James almost. It's exhausting. You know, it's, ex it's more exhausting than being a Mexican-American. It really is. And, um, um, well, so much depends on you and your life and the thoughts and words and actions, the meaning of words and the exercise of meaning of words, the actions of meaning of words. Okay. Um, it's not, obviously not the Pope, right? We saw that on the news today. It's obviously not Donald Trump or Joe Biden. We saw that on the news today, right? And so, and it's not the people, you know, giving us the news because they're all, if you read the Bible and other books, you know, the, especially the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation, um, what's causing global warming is economics denying us the Lord's Prayer. Okay, it's, it's, it's not hard. It's pretty simple. Okay. Economics denying us the Lord's Prayer causing global warming. Okay. Um, what causes diseases is toxins in the environment and stress and toxins in the environment due to conflict among human beings. That's the main cause of diseases. Okay. Other things like you got bit by that snake, we can cure rattlesnake bite things, poison ivy, things like that. Don't touch that. So, so certain things that are toxic to us. Um, there, there's, there easily don't, you know, don't do that. And it hurts when I do that. Don't do that. Do no more. And you know, that's poison ivy and that's red on yellow, kill a fellow red on black friend of Jack. So, um, common sense goes a long way, just not on TV. All right. Okay. Do you understand? It's like, it's just not on the television set. Right. Now, the reason why I don't go back to Facebook is because of the, uh, manipulation. They didn't stop. Okay. Um, YouTube's just a platform, okay? Put it out there, Congress decides whether or not, your, Congress and the military decides whether or not your stuff trends, okay? That's who decides who's gonna be a star and who's not gonna be a star. Okay, the people that sell cars and drugs, and check, revoke, check, Sky Rizzy, you know? And so, nothing is everything. Those are the people that decide whether or not you become a star or you're an anonymous wacko in New Mexico, right? And so, and you get all these people and you watch them on the news. Well, we found this guy, you know, this gave it to us. It's a news story. They found a guy's purple heart. So he got injured, he got metal thrown into his body, and his purple heart ended up in a military base. He didn't care about it. Apparently, it's like, got a goddamn fucking purple heart because we're here away from my loved ones and getting fucked by the U.S. corporations, right? Which I think most people, would that's how they would see their purple heart. If you're intelligent and you get a purple heart, it's because you got a piece of metal thrust into your body, being forced to work for a corporation that means the status quo for the wealthy to continue to mass murder the poor. That's purple heart in a nutshell, right? So when they get the Andy Warhol cameras and they put you on the news, you know, you have no idea what was going through her, her grandpa's head at that time. He might have been pissed and didn't want to keep, keep your fucking purple heart. Like the one guy who was a Marine and a sniper and threw his Medal of Honor in the, in the, in the river like uh, Muhammad Ali did with his gold medal after he got back to Louisiana and he had to, uh, Kentucky and Louisville. And still had to suffer segregation and racism. And fuck my country. He was pissed, right? Fuck. I want a gold medal for my country. I come back home, whites only, nigga this, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, fuck this place, right? Fuck these people. And so the thing about it is, is you can't only a peewit judges a man by that group and a group by the man, you know, to kill rain. Uh, the Irish uh, sergeant from New York that moved to Maine that was the first sergeant for Colonel Chamberlain, you know. Uh, you know, during in, in Michael Sarah's book, uh, uh, Killer Angels, okay, which was uh, the Gettysburg, the TNT propaganda movie for uh, to keep uh, Jane Fonda's boyfriend rich, you know, <laughs> and have two TV stations that broadcast NBA games to this day, you know, Turner Network Television and Turner Broadcast System, right? Okay, if you want a car or truck, go see Cal. If you want a car or truck, go see Cal. 
cause heart disease and cancer. And don't uh, think the Lord's Prayer is the answer. Go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. So you, I'm watching a soap opera. It's supermodel movies. Drama face. Drama face. General Hospital. General Hospital. No Luke and Laura? Yeah, Luke kidnapped Laura for money, and then they had sex. He, like, sexually assaulted her, and then they ended up getting married. Yeah. It was pretty creepy. My sister would watch it. I was like, that's pretty weird and creepy. But he raped her. He sexually assaulted her on that island. When they had sex, she didn't want to have sex. It might have seemed like they wanted to have sex because he was, you know, more cool and dangerous and hot and the hot, dangerous guy, but it was still pretty creepy. The writers on that show are pretty creepy. That's like, this bed of roses that I lay in, where I learn to be a man. You got to understand, most music you hear is some or move TV shows or movies. It's like people's uh, wildest fantasies and dreams because we're being denied some of these perfect the Lord's Prayer to express themselves creatively and... You know, 12 years a slave. Let's open that wound up and rip it out even more. Let's get these black people and white people hating the fuck out of each other and fighting over jobs for fake-ass money so we can maintain the status quo of all us rich people and own a chateau and atta- uh, 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 and then adapt, uh, uh, adapt, uh, adopt uh, poor kids from exploited nations that might be kind of cute. Yeah, they'll make good photo ops. Yeah. Anybody want to buy my best friend's coffee? He also sells booze. He also sells tequila. <laughs> best friend, huh? If, if he won't stand up for the Lord's Prayer, how is he best of anything? Seriously. I, you know, the Lord's Prayer is perfect language for eternity for everybody to live peacefully. Okay? If someone's not doing that, you're the real hero. Thank you for your service. Oh, you get discounts on cars, insurance, and also, um, so do your relatives. And we already talked about that Gronkowski, right? Gronkowski gets Lloyds of London, guys. He can't be a USAA member. They can't cover his, uh, what he owns. Okay, that's for military employees only. If a military employee ends up with a, uh, with a, with a policy at Lloyds of London, okay, next thing you know, he's in Fort Leavenworth for taking uh, drug dealer money or you know what I'm saying? Okay, do you understand how it works? The real joke about the Gronkowski uh, insurance commercials is just how stupid most people in the military that will go mass murder to maintain the status quo of the wealthy. That's what's really funny. It's like, (laughs) that'd be funny if it wasn't genocide. (laughs) Oh, fuck, we suck again. I know, right? So you got to understand what you're dealing with. And that apparently I'm the one who has to teach tech how to be a person like me and Haile Selassie and Jesus Christ and Mohammed of Mecca and not you. Okay. And apparently that the Chinese and the Japanese are so excessive and compulsive on taking their religious um, molecular similitudes okay, that they would take them and kill them or plug them into computers. Okay. So that's how, you know, Oh, boy. Oh, and the Americans sure treat their messiah better than the Japanese or the Chinese. Wow, everybody having sex with my wife and passing around on chat rooms and laughing at me about a Fort Huachuca. Whoa. Let me see. Being plugged into a supercomputer to keep people docile or have everybody have sex with my uh, naive, cute, little, sweet wife that they wouldn't regularly have sex with because they're too shallow and aggressive and psychotic, violent jocks. Um, I can't decide which one would be more fun. Being plugged into the computer, sexually abuse of my wife and it affecting the children, um, uh, being sent to the soup kitchen and having uh, drugs and alcohol put in my system and then being sent to the uh, hospital made look like a schizophrenic or being plugged into a supercomputer to keep the poor people docile. Which one do I want? Ah, this is a tough choice, Monty. Give me the knife, Monty. Give me the knife. Um, I can't make up my mind. No, okay. Hot to marry hot Tibetan chicks. You no, know, that's a dream. Oh, wait. Okay, because I'm plugged into the computer. Right. Now, okay, the United States not plugged into the computer, but okay. Can't make up my mind how bad I want to be fucked by my local populace who calls themselves family and says they love me all the time. None of you guys know how to love a woman. You have an idea that you think she is that makes you stay together due to uh, forgotten words and funds and ink stains dried up on some line. When you love a woman, you want her to be loved by the man she's with, not fucked by the man who obsesses on her. 
And you women, you wouldn't know what it was like to be loved if you got sexually assaulted by Fort Huachuca and felt like it was necessary because you had to save your children from people like you.